Hey dudes, back again. This time we have the Daz Ever special. Daz Ever is number 34. Um, what's the make of this one again? It's the. F E R N O D. F E R. F E R M O D. Fair Mud. Fair Mud. Okay, let's see. Never heard of that make before, but. This is a uh, Daz Lock, and I found that Daz Locks aren't the easiest in the world by any stretch of the imagination. So, I'm gonna start off with this, uh, this pick of this awesome homebrew. This, I got this one off uh, Mutt Boy said, made this for me. It's awesome, yeah, it, it, it's really, really strong. The shaft is really thin, and it's, uh, it's a great, great pick for getting there. Uh, for reaching behind those local pins. There's a nice click off one. Still taking there, uh, still kind of getting used to it a bit. Oh, well, it's a lot stronger than it looks. Uh, there's another kick off uh, one false set a little bit. Um, hang on, yeah. It's very dark in here, isn't it? Now, I'll kick off three there as well. Yeah. Oh, it feels like it's bound to me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. I lost everything. Kick off one. I got the light situation here. Two counter, yeah. And click off two as well. I don't think three wants to go anywhere now, to be honest. Yeah, a little bit of a click and a bit more of a torn off five. Okay, let's go in with it. <coughs> one of Daz's picks. There's high strong hooks, and there's a nasty old key with this one. Let's see what we can do here. One at a time, okay. One, two, three. Hmm. three, four, five. That's, that's weird, that's a bit strange. Again, oops, again. Try the forest diamond, see what happens to this. Gosh, can we stay still, please? Wow, that's weird. I huh? can't rotation, but he just wants it. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go around on this side there. And then, let's see if this works any better. No, I can't see jack shit there. Hang on, hang on a second. No. <clears throat> the best. I think that's the best we can do. Let's uh, maybe get a bit of tension out as well. Whatever. Bear with me. Uh, four minutes in, we've fucking got nowhere. Let's see, let's keep going. Hey, let's keep going, bro. Get in there, you. Get in. Yes, that's better. That's much better. Okay, click off one. I'm gonna click off one. Okay, click off two. A little bit of a fault set going there now. Click off five. Went to the start. One, two. Oh, three, three. I feel like I moved a bit there. Oh, yes, there we go. Nice deep ball set now. There's a counter on oh, four. Oh, yes. And we're open. Yes. Awesome. Okay, that's not so bad. We're in, so that's uh, 
let's cut this guy and see what Daz has in here for us, eh? In number 24. Yeah. 24, okay. I should have a pin and match somewhere within arms. There we go. There's one there. There's this one for now. The other one is occupied. Also, we have a key office as well. Actually, we have a look. See at the key. The key. Yeah. If we can get the tape off, here we go. See how. Yeah, there's some pretty sticky stuff in it. I don't think I have no knife there, boy. I'm afraid. <laughs> on, there we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, what did it? Yes, gotcha. Got ya. I think, I think, I think. Well, mummied. Well, mummied indeed. I'll re mummy it before I send it off. So, yeah. I shall probably probably need this key to uh, to go to lock. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Ah, what's going on here? Huh. Mm, some trickery going on there, does eh? What's this? Uh, There's anything in the in the field, anything in the bottom of the keyway, but let's have a look. Get rid of that nasty out there and lock it back up and we go on the key. Yes, and she works superbly. Let's just get that out there and get the clip off and get the shoulder rolled. Okay. The tweezers, clip remover. Okay. Time to battle the clip. Yes, good stuff. Don't make it does a nice easy clip. Good, good man. Oh, here we go. Perfect, Um. Will I, will I, will I do? Shim, shim, shim. Shim isn't going to be easy to shim this, is it? Um, oh well. So much safer, isn't it? It's just, uh, let me just show you this shim in here. Yes, that shim went in. It's a bit shook, that shim, but hey, yes. Maybe it was a good idea to put it in there because I could feel that. Uh, I felt it down by a couple of T pins or something. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Huh. Upside down key pins. Hey, interesting. Ah, yeah, the, yeah, the modify. Did they modify this key to work? Or something? I can't really tell. But, uh, let's have a look at the pins anyway. Okay, so um, let's go. Yeah. Right. Treading in two, undercutting three, um, treading in four, treading in five. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, nice undercut there, and um, very nicely undercut. On pin three there, on the sides, one, then that side, and that side. And that's why I was getting that deep fault set, I was getting a really deep fault set in this lock. Um, okay, get that right here. Now let's see what we have up here, and then we'll have a look at the rest of those pins. Okay, we're yeah, because we're we're moving on here, time uh, time wise. So sorry about that, fellas. Just bear with me. So now pin one. Oh yes, that is a very nice looking serrated pin. Oops, nearly knocked over my tea. Let's take that out there. So I don't uh, knock it over. Let me get the spring out with 
minutes here. Oops, it is a nice powerful spring there. That one. Let's move on. This oh, they're almost like they made these mats upside down, isn't it? With the uh, sparrows mats. Uh, let me just turn it around the way. Hang on, what way was that? That was like that. No, they were all towards that sort of shade line actually all that's weirdly enough. Um they're all beveled on both ends. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Yes. See the rounds on both ends, so let me see pin two here. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> Came out like that, that way towards the share line. And the copper spring there behind him. Looks like whoa, it's a powerful spring behind this guy as well. Very nice, very nice pins. That's very nice indeed. <laughs> Another one of these fellas. Nice. Isn't it? Isn't it tricky. That looks like uh been picking um this kind of arrow. There we go, like that. Arrow style. Isn't that one of those spring in the back there? So let me just see if we can get the rest of the springs in here. The copper fell in too. There is a copper spring in four. Maybe there was. Oh, right, there he is. So, a copper spring for four. And <laughs> I think that's a, a big lighter spring. Powerful spring on that tree. So, there we go. Very, very nice pin work. And as I'd expect uh, nothing less. I think, uh, I think the top is all smooth out there. Let's have a closer look at this. Beauteous. Okay, we had a look at the car, so we can put that down. So, you know, any other mega disasters? Very nice. Check them out. All these guys on the bottom, like uh, double ended key pins almost. Huh, weird. That's strange. Look at that. I see. Very nice. Serrated pin. Yeah. Sorry, the focus isn't great on this. Uh, Come on now, come on. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. So, very nice serrated right, kind of spool in one. This is very cool. I like this idea now. This is a good pen. Another, check this out. Very nice, very nice serrated right, kind of spool. Another one of these arrow fellas. And um, lovely sharp serrations on this guy. Nice sharp serrations on that fella as well. But, um, I think they were all in like that with that end towards the shear line, this end here towards the shear line. So I'll have to have a re look. Maybe this one is upside down. But, um, here we go. Daz Evers number 34, was it? Daz number 34. Okay, so coming up next, uh, towards seven. We can move on. Thanks a lot, Daz. We really appreciate the locks, man, and uh, the picks and all that stuff. See you again next time.